Okay, this tutorial we're going to show how to use the um, insert, overwrite, lift, and extract functions and the shortcuts for them. Alright, first of all, we, we've kind of briefly discussed this in a previous um, episode, but um, I'm going to show that again really quick. Uh, but could, just because all these go together, uh, when you load a clip into the um, into the source monitor here, and you put an endpoint and outpoint in, let's go through the shot. Say we want to put an endpoint right before she starts shaking that, and she shakes it, and stops, and outpoint. Say we want that portion of the clip, we want to put it down in the timeline. Um, I'm going to hit Shift three and go down in my timeline because I want to find a spot to insert this. Let's say we want to insert that right here. Uh, actually, let's insert it between two clips for some reason here. Um, let me show you what happens when you hit uh, these two keys right here. You've got insert and overwrite. On the other window here, you've got lift and extract. We're going to show you the difference between these here. Uh, insert, the shortcut for it is comma, and the overwrite shortcut is period. Watch what, what happens uh, when we do insert, when we hit comma or hit this key right here, hit this icon right there. Uh, comma is insert. Watch down the timeline. It's going to put it right where I've got my playhead there. It's going to place the clip and notice how it shoves the other clip down. Um, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go down a little bit and put it right there. If you hit comma, watch what happens. It drops it down into the timeline and shoves everything else out. If you do period, that is an overwrite. Uh, period will eat into anything in its path. Um, the overwrite is more commonly used when you're doing uh, B-roll editing. Uh, if you have A-roll down on the timeline, which is something maybe like, it, especially in documentary, if you have interviews down here, and you have um, uh, B-roll that you're going to be in compositing on top here, uh, the way you would do that is you would assign your tracks by dragging your V1 clip up, your A1 clip down, and whenever you insert or overwrite, it's going to do it to this line as opposed to uh, these lines right here, these tracks right there. So I'm going to assign it to those tracks there, and now watch what happens. And now watch what happens as I do an overwrite. If you do an overwrite, notice it overwrites. It doesn't move anything else down, but it keeps these visuals right here, this visual and the, this track here and this uh, track here without affecting it and doesn't shove it down. If you do an insert while you're assigned to those tracks, it does shove everything else down and puts these on top. So like I said, if you're doing uh, interview uh, A roll down here and then you're doing B roll edits up here, uh, that comes in handy, the overwrite does, to add it to tr uh, alternate tracks besides these two tracks on the inside here. And this here, if it goes to this V2 track, it's going to cut to this shot and not show the one underneath until you reach the end of this track here and boom it'll go it'll edit down to that visual right there to that track there uh, so that is the difference between uh, insert and overwrite I'm gonna pull these back and assign these tracks insert shoves tracks over overwrite writes over anything in its path for the length of your edit um, okay Lift and extract, and uh, the keys for that are going to be semicolon and um, that'd be an apostrophe, and those are right next to each other, just like the comma and the and the period. But lift and extract is kind of similar to um, uh, to the insert and overwrite a little bit, but you're working within your timeline here. Uh, say I want to remove a portion of a clip here. Um, say we want to go to the end of this and say we want to re remove just this portion right there where she stands up for some reason, um, where she starts to stand up. Let's say we want to remove that portion right there. What you can do is you get it on the exact frame, arrow through and find the exact frame you want to remove. You're going to hit in point, and I'm just going to jump to the end of the clip and put an out point. So we've got an in point I and O on my timeline here, and I want to remove this portion right here. You've got two options. You have lift and extract. This is kind of like a cut. Uh, if you do, it, if you like, as in cut, copy, and paste. If you do a lift, it holds it in the pasting queue, basically, in the uh, ready to paste um, if you need it. But if I'm going to remove that there, now I'm going to go up and look at this shortcut. It is semicolon. So lift. I'm going to hit semicolon. Notice it removes that, and it also leaves a gap there. It has this in the paste queue. 
If I go down to the end and hit Command V, it'll paste that portion that I just. If if you need it, uh, it'll paste that portion that I just removed. So let's say I want to remove this and insert it here. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to hit semicolon to lift. And now I'm going to arrow down. Let's move it to right there. And I'm going to do. We've showed this in a pre shown this in a previous episode. Command Shift V is a ripple paste and paste it and shove everything else out. We inserted it there. That's basically an insert. Uh, Command V is like an overwrite. Command Shift V. Let me undo that. Command Shift V is like an insert. Um, okay, I'm going to undo, get back to this clip right there. So a lift pulls the clip out and leaves a gap. And the extract, if you hit uh, the apostrophe, will pull the clip out and also fill the gap for you. It pulls out and fills the gap. It does a ripple cut, basically. Uh, and now I have the clip in my queue. I can paste it if I wish or forget about it. So that is basically your insert, overwrite, lift, and extract. A couple handy tools for editing. Uh, the, the insert and overwrite are good for the source monitor, and the lift and extract are good for when you place clips down in the timeline. And um, when you place clips down in the timeline and you wish to do some trimming or editing within your timeline.